What's up, YouTube? <laughs> What's up, YouTube community? This is damn bringing you another update. Sorry for not making a video in a while. I dropped my camera in the 120 and it broke. I'm trying to film a contest entry for the Angry Fish Man. I'll have that up soon. But anyway, there are lots of new fish in the fish room. Lots of rare fish that you might never see anywhere other than in this room. Super pumped about that. So, let's get started. In this tank, I have... Well, first off, I know y'all wanted this to be a ram tank. I will get rams soon once I have the space. But, uh, I got these in the mail and I could not resist. So, these are Zoogeneticus tequila. They are wild Gadean, some of the rarest live bears in the world. I think they're extinct, or almost extinct in the wild. And I have two males and six females, and actually, they're spawning right as I'm talking. That's a real treat for y'all. <laughs> so you best feel lucky. And I also have some Neocardinia shrimp. Hopping around, so everything in there is new. It's the Sakia Fry Tank. A lot of these have been sold, but I still have a good amount left, so get your orders in before they're all gone. Yeah. Anyway, back to these guys. The these are some of the rarest, probably the rarest fish in the fish room right now. And you might never see these outside the fish room until I get fry for y'all. And you do not want to miss out on these fish. They're super cute, super cool, super rare. Not many people have them, so make sure to check out that. I mean, this female is definitely getting filled with eggs, and hopefully she'll give birth to a bunch of fries soon. That will be very cool. So, moving on. We got another spawn from the Sakia. You won't be able to see because it's at the top of the flower pot, but... Just believe me, there will be wigglers soon. So that's those guys. In here, the Pleco spawns again. There's the dad taking care of his little babies. We won't be able to see them. But uh, the only reason I know he spawned was because I was lucky enough to watch the female lay eggs. It was pretty cool, pretty sweet. Everything else in, in this tank is same as it always has been. In here, it looks empty, but there are two new species of fish. Fortunately, particularly shy fish. First one is Enigmatochromus leucanusi. There's the male poking his head out. That's the female back there. And then I also have Scyphia multipunctata, another super duper rare live bear. And they have been spawning, and I hope they'll be getting babies soon. They're in there. Super cool fish, but yeah, if you just saw two little fish running right about there, that's the Skiffia. Anyway, let's get into it. The Oblognums, they have some kind of fungal disease. I do not know what's up with that. I'm treating the tank. I'm not doing too well, but hey, got my fingers crossed. That's the best I can do. And this other 29, we got more new fish. Woo! Okay. I have a pair of Latacara Thayeri, that's the female, and I don't know where my male's at, I'll see if he comes out later on in the video, but down here, we have another spawn, the pelvic acromus teniatus lobe, have babies inside that cave, and the female's guarding them very well, and these fish are extremely rare, so... Once the babies are selling size, make sure to order yourself some. Very fun fish. I also have some cherry barbs. And if you see these plants, they are water hyacinth. Very cool plant. It's normally used in ponds, but it does fine in the, in the aquarium. At least my aquariums. And that cherry barb is about to lay eggs. So we might even have another spawn. Oh yeah, super pumped about that. Gulper catfish. 
nothing new, got him a sick piece of driftwood. But yeah, you can't see because of the dim lighting, but hey, that's just what he likes. Over here, more new live bears and lots of water hyacinth. This is a big colony of peacock endlers. If you guys see some of my really early videos, I had a breeding group of these, but sold them. Well, I got that breeding group back and some of their offspring. So that is super cool. Super cool. Well, not the exact breeding group, but siblings of my old breeding group. So that is very cool. Super happy to have them. Up here, more wild caught live bears. I have Limia nigrofasciata and Zephophorus montezume, the king of sword tails. Super pumped to have that fish. Well, all eight of those fish. Super excited. And this is the beginning of my fry rack. You can't really see, but there's a wrought iron stand. I only have one 10 gallon with a beta fish in it. But yeah, so I'm gonna get five more 10 gallons. This will be fry tanks and a ram tank. I have 29 there. I don't know what's gonna happen there, but something cool. So, I'm starting to run out of time, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Get your orders for frying. Lots of new spawns, lots of new fish coming soon. The fish room is becoming a real fish room. I am super pumped. I hope you can hear that pumpedness in my voice. And it's those guys chasing each other around. And when they guard eggs, they get aggressive. Let's see if we can check out the male ther theri. He's in there, but this tank is not very well lit. So we won't be able to see him too well. But anyway, I'm going to run out of time any minute. Those guys got Enigmatochromus. Sick of Blognums. Sakia with fry, Molly's and Plecos with fry, Gulper Catfish, Ziphopper's Montezuma and Lumia Negro Fasciata, Breeding Group of Endlers, Beta Fish, Stathayer Eye, Cherry Barbs, Lobes with fry, Zuganakis Tequila, and Fry Tank with Sakia Fry. Some of the first in this country from the River Tempiske F1. Get yours in now. See y'all later. And there will be some contest entries very soon. So yes, come check those out.